guys, Edge. Welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, this is for April 7th until 13th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. You know, the lesson for you for this week, Sag, is don't count the chicks while, you know, the eggs are not yet hatched. Or while the chicken is not yet laying eggs. So, um, there is somebody f that lives far from you at a distance that you're thinking about, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, uh, air sign, fire sign, or water sign. Okay, and you feel like you can just take off and uh, you know get away from this person or people, and you've been thinking about a lot of things. That where can you really place yourself, or where ca where can you really see yourself from this moment on? There are some changes that will be taking place, and there are some situations from the past that will also be coming back. Now, there is an older female air sign, which is more likely a mother figure, that will be asking for some changes, or that will be requesting you to make some changes, or will be asking you to make a few sacrifices. And because of this, you feel like you cannot. You feel so stuck in the situation. You feel like there's nothing that you can do. And you feel like, why is it that I can't really move away from the shadow of this fire sign person that is older than you? It seems like there are some things situation or people from the past that they are still attaching you to and just because that they really want you to be with this person at this part of the relationship that you're already in right now you're already struggling with your own identity own direction own decision and own life it's like why can't these people be happy with whatever i really want to be in my in my life or where with whatever i really want to happen right now i want to explore my potential i want to know how far can i go but these people will just keep on controlling you like a dummy or will just uh, these people will just keep on controlling you like you're a like a strength puppet and as much as they can control you they will try to manipulate you if you will just let them so the key here is you have to draw the line with these people and they have to know where they really where do they really stand in your life because these people we just keep on going and going and going and going that Despite of you saying that, nope, this is my life, this is my boundaries, this is how far you can go, they can just simply go overboard it and, you know, like, ah, no, you know what, I, I, I know what's right for you. I, I know what's, you know, what, what, do you, what do we really want for you? So some people will just pretend that they know far better than you, but it's not, okay? But you also need to learn how to listen with those people who's already more experienced in the field that you're trying to try in. If this thing is not really meant for you, then you just have to learn how to give up and, you know, um, explore your real potential. Follow your heart's desires, not what other people are trying to tell you what to do and where you can be. You know, you don't have to live under the shadow of somebody just because that, you know, they, they, did better at something and you feel like the, the, the you can do better than them okay the faith of john can it be the faith of peter okay so you have to create your own destiny create your own path and follow it do not follow someone else's path just because that they became successful in that field because we have our own calling and this is the lesson for you this week and stop looking back into the past okay that is the reason why you're unable to move on to your life because you keep on looking back at, oh you know in that so-and-so year I, i've been so 
I was so successful. I was like this. I was like that. My career has been like this. My career has been like that. What's already past is already past. Okay, you have to move on from it. And there are some, you know, there there is a very essential reason why is it that you're already at this point, and you didn't you did not really manage to continue who you were in the past. It is because that there are there was a mistake that you made, and that you have to return, go back again, start from scratch, and redo it again. Okay, but you are all over the place. You don't even know what to do anymore. You don't know what do you really want. You are trying to do something that you're not really good at, just because that some other people told you that. Oh, okay, that's so easy. Maybe you can also do that. You have to create your own, your own identity. That's why there are some news that you will be receiving. There will be some rejections that you will have to face. And this will just hurt your ego. This will just hurt you even more. And it will just diminish your your self-confidence um, uh, or your self-esteem. And you just want to walk away. Okay? And then there will be a lot more... And there are some people who will try to support you fakely, but then those supports are just empty, okay? So, and you're also waiting for a job to call you back, or you're also waiting for a job to be open or to approve you. But the thing here is, no. Even if someone will be hiring you, they don't have any plans of paying you. It's because you are in the wrong field. You are in the wrong path. So follow your heart's desires. Know what it is that, is that is in your heart. And if you feel like, how can you do the thing that you really wanted to do if you were in this place? Then it means that you also need to make your own changes that you really need. You love to work, but then everything else that you or that you've been working on, it's just coming to a waste. And you're already losing confidence. You're already losing hope and chance and opportunity. And you feel like this person around you who's already married and that you're also close to are the one who's been giving you some, you know, some push. But you know what? This person needs to know a lot more about what they are saying and uh, advising you. And you're only waiting for the money to come and you really want to, you know, you really want to move pursue and change your course but then this is actually the problem when you're already in a relationship and you feel like you want to have your own plans and you're just waiting for the right time to have money and then take off then it means that the person that you're with right now you're only using that that is the reason why there are some things in your life just you know it just doesn't really work because your intention is wrong and now Right before that happens, that there will be a lot more things that's going to be happening. And also be careful with some air sign people, okay? Because their only solution is for you to go back to your own, to where you used to be. You need to go back to your own route to start all over again. And they feel like you can make something out of this. But unfortunately, this is not where you can find yourself happy. And this is not really what you this is not what you really wanted to do. Somebody just pulled out their support and you or they used to back you up, but then they have pulled out from you because you're just too stubborn to listen, you know. Especially if this person is much more experienced than you, but you feel like you know better. So they've already taken a few steps back and now look what happened. So there are some lessons that you need to learn from this situation in this week, okay? And who knows that next week it will be changing. It will be a whole different pace. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Sagittarius. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at svangel.net. Blessings to you.